All right, what you're looking at right there is a carrier bearing that I'm making. Right now it's not mounted, it's getting close. It's so close to where I'm pretty much at a stopping point. It's, you're gonna have to ignore this because this is eventually gonna get trimmed down somewhere. I just haven't decided yet because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna mount the motor on top somewhere. All right, so this is definitely gonna have some room to cut down and across. So ignore that, this is just a scrap piece of plastic. All I know for sure on this bearing is it's five millimeter inside diameter. I drilled the hole into the plastic, just a fuzz bit smaller than the outside diameter of the bearing. Then I used a pair of pliers to kind of squeeze it in there. I actually had to use my rotary tool to just kind of grind away just a little more plastic before I could squeeze it in there efficiently. And then, like I said, before this is just kind of sitting here and so how do you tell if it's sitting flat well since it's just sitting there I should be able to push on one side or the other so it's not flat yet and that's pushing right here and I can do the same on the other side put my finger here yeah, probably not as easily but we can see the flex here so we know it's not flat and it could be because it's trying to ride a gear so now at this point you can see I've put a couple of grooves in here to fit on this frame rail because there is a slight thickness there. It's about 1 16th of an inch. So I've done that on both sides but now I'm going to have to take some off the top here or which is technically the bottom. I'm going to have to carefully sand that down until it sits just right. And when it's sitting just right there will be no more of this rocking action here. It should just sit fit a little focus. So you may or may not have to do that. I don't know. Like I said before, I'm trying to use every available part that I have on hand versus spending any money. And I drilled an extra hole in the back back here because I think I'm going to use a small body pin to stop the reduction gear from coming out. If I spin this around, there's the reduction gear pinhole that I drilled for the reduction gear and then I'm going to put a little small little body pin back here to stop it from coming out.